Question. I forgot my wallet at home. Mm -hmm. Is there any chance I could get like a piece of bread? No problem. I just want something to eat. Yeah. You want a cup of coffee? You sure? I paid for it. I are you sure? For it. Yes. Why are you doing that? We're human and we have to be nice to each other. Never know when I might see you on the road and you might be of help to me. I'm Zachary, by the way. Yeah. Nice I'm to Sonia. Be... Are you sure? Yes, I will pay for it. Don't worry about it. I'm very sure. If I wasn't sure, I wouldn't do it. We have to be kind to each other. It's okay. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Nice meeting you, young man. And you do something nice to somebody every day. Pay it forward, it's called. Can I pay it forward right now? Next person you see, you pay it forward to somebody. I actually had my wallet right here. Oh. At a thousand dollars. Oh my God. <laughs> this guy is something else. Yeah. Okay. For you. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'll pay it forward back to you. What? <laughs> yeah. I love you. I, know, I love you too. What's your message to the world? We were brought up to be kind, not to be hateful. My mother always said we have one blood, and there's no black and white blood. That woman right there, she deserves all the headlines, not people pushing conspiracy theories or stories about Jewish lasers. That woman talking about love and kindness and togetherness. And that is the last thing before we go tonight. The season of giving. It's what we talk all about. Remember, this country has unity has good people, despite the fact that every day we talk about division, people fighting, undermining one another. There are good people doing good things every single day. And I want to close this show, this year for me, by taking a moment to highlight a couple of stories of everyday Americans who pay it forward. They do it in all sorts of ways, but especially right around the holidays, like Jonathan Werner. He is a 12-year-old Boy Scout from Cambridge, Minnesota. Every year, he goes above and beyond to sell popcorn for the Scouts. But it's not for the reason you think. Our local affiliate in Minneapolis, CARE 11, has that really special story that I want to share. No longer selling. Barbie little people. Now, fine. So we are going shopping too to buy the Christmas presents for the foster care children and for the domestic violence shelter children. Let that sink in. Three T or four T. With his share of the proceeds earned selling popcorn, Body spray. Jonathan is buying Christmas gifts for people living in a domestic violence shelter. Wanted purses. And for every foster child in four counties and part of a fifth. My dad was in foster care when he was a kid. It didn't really sound like they had much of a Christmas. Kind of reminds me about how many people I will make happy during the holidays, and that just makes me happy. All of these presents together are around $11,300. And a dad who grew up in foster care and then inspired his son yeah, to make Christmas better. He has so much drive that he just wants to go bigger and bigger. Jonathan's goal someday, yep. gifts for every foster child in the state. I just want to make kids happy for Christmas and let them know that they are loved and appreciated. Lastly, another great person, Lester Holt, introduces us to another young teen making spirits bright this holiday season, and she's doing it with a little bit of help from a major league star. At Thornwood Elementary in Houston, Texas, holiday gifts are piled high, ready to be opened by some deserving students, all thanks to Lily DuBose. I love kids and the joy that I see on their faces when they get a toy. The 13-year-old started Lily's Toy Box back in 2017 after hearing about some children who lost everything during Hurricane Harvey. Lily wanted to help, so she gave away 10 toys, but she didn't stop there. Lily's Toy Box became a nonprofit, and so far she's given away 40,000 toys. And this holiday season, she's hit a home run with a little help from her friend Houston Astro Alex Bregman and his wife Reagan. Together, the trio handed out 1,500 presents. Actually, make that 1,501. A lucky student got to FaceTime with her favorite player, Astro shortstop Jeremy Pena. Say hi. Hi. A holiday to remember, and a girl hoping to inspire others with the gift of giving this Christmas. These amazing kids are reminding us this holiday season of a message we like to share all the time on this show. If you need help, please ask for it. But if you can give help, please give it.